Victorious ones, as you're following Jesus and you're working and striving to do the right thing, you're treating people with respect, you are walking with integrity. Remember, some people will not care. Some people will not care about your good works and they will still attack you. That's when you're going to have to read Matthew 4. You're going to do the right things, right? Behave the way that God wants you to behave. And still sometimes get stabbed in your neck, stabbed in your back, stabbed in your heart. And the enemy will come and he will try to tempt you to snap back into that old man or that old woman that you used to be. Because you're just so shocked that people will still throw dirty water in your face after your acts of kindness. But that's when you have to crucify your flesh, victorious ones, and, and understand this word. Please understand this word, that you reap what you sow. And as you continue to obey God, and as you continue to walk in love, and as you continue to honor the Most High God that's planting good seeds in the ground. And you're going to reap harvests of blessings. And so you might not be able to control how people respond to you and how they just take your kindness for granted and think you're weak because you're being kind. But understand this, that you're reaping life. You're reaping health and wealth. God is protecting you. God is protecting your family. God is sending his angels to help you. God is giving you favor. God is blocking things that you know nothing about. You continue to be obedient to God. He said, if you be willing and obedient, you will eat the best of the land. And so you might not be able to control situations and circumstances, but God got your back. And you get to have favor with God and favor with men because your desire must be to please the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Forget about what they're doing. Focus on what God is doing. God is using you to shine in light because you are salt and light in the earth. In the name of Jesus, and you are establishing God's kingdom. And demons tremble when you show up. You are powerful. You are blessed. You are blessed of the Lord and most highly favored in the name of Jesus. And so don't focus on the problems around you. Focus on the mission. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And when they betray you, I will heal you. And when they attack you, I will bless you. I fight the battles for you. I lift you up. I take you up on the miry clay. I put you on my solid rock. I honor you. I bless you. That's what God is saying to you. Don't worry about that. Don't be distracted. Continue to walk in love. Continue to walk in the fruit of the spirit because you're reaping a harvest of blessings that's going to be in your bloodline. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Mm, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your holy name. That's wisdom. Continue to walk in wisdom and you will live. You will have life and have life more abundantly. Walk in wisdom. Let people do what they want to do. You can't control people. You cannot change people. But you can control yourself. Because God is not giving you a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Self-control is your portion. You can be angry, but sin not. In the name of Jesus. Shalom, peace. Shalom, peace is your birthright. You have peace, victorious ones. God gave you that peace, that wholeness, that wellness, that favor, that protection, that prosperity, that tranquility, that harmony, and nobody can take it away from you. Nobody can take it away from you because they did not give that to you. God gave that to you. Don't let anybody stop you from rejoicing. The joy of the Lord is your strength. God has changed your mourning into dancing. You have the oil of gladness. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Don't be distracted. You are filled up with the same power that raised Christ from the dead. The same power that raised Christ from the dead lives inside of you. Don't you know who you are? You are the temple of the living God. Don't let anything cause you to become emotional and frustrated.
God is blessing you, blessing you, blessing you on repeat. God said, I'm giving you blessed opportunities. The enemy is trying to block you from receiving your blessings. It's called, he's trying to get you to participate in self-sabotage. Don't allow that to happen. Don't destroy your own blessings. Don't destroy your own house. Don't tear down your own house with your own hands, victorious ones. Come on now. Walk in wisdom. Walk in grace. Walk in mercy. Walk in the love of God. Because you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Maintain your worship unto God. The devil wants your worship. Don't let him do it. Worship God. Worship God only. Begin to cry out to him now. I know it's painful. I know it's difficult. That's why you get in the secret place of the Most High God and you abide under the shadow of the Almighty and let God love on you. God loves you and God cares about you and God is helping you. Ask me how I know.